So on we go guys into part two of our uh, tour of Edinburgh Castle. We're just waiting on the, the guide to come in. And uh, seeing that I've got uh, five minutes, I'm going to give a shout out to some um, people, some of my subscribers. Daryl Robertson, Suchita, Emery and Levi. Levi, you have to practice this, little man. These guys, uh, hope you had a nice Christmas and a happy new year when it comes. And to Patsy and Jimmy Cruikshank, these guys in Scotland, just in Birkenside, freezing cold up there. I know, icy as well. If you want mention, guys, uh, just uh, go to my Facebook page and leave you, let me know what you want. If you want mention for a birthday or happy new year, whatever you want. Crack on with us. Inside here, there's a woman uh, acting as uh, Mary Queen of Scots. And she's basically telling you a story, having the birth of her son and what happened in that in her time. And it's definitely somewhere I would recommend you to come. The Great Hall, a lot of information getting uh, getting given in, in there. So that's the Scottish uh, National War Memorial. And there's remembrance books in there that say for the Scot uh, Scottish soldiers who have lost their uh, life in battle, in wars, from uh, 1914 onwards up until the present day. You can go in, pay your respects. Pretty, uh, it's pretty sad, guys. A lot, a lot of young men being killed in battle. So we've just been in and seen Scotland's crown jewels. Um, and the history behind them as well, that was fantastic. I have to apologise guys, there's a lot, of, a lot of places where you're not allowed to take uh, photographs or film or video. So you, again, you better come into this place yourself and checking this out, it's great. Plenty to see and do. All different areas as well. We're off to the whiskey tasting next. That's St Margaret's Chapel, the oldest building in Edinburgh. <laughs> Seen it right, £3,100. Obviously, where they slept. Knox, William Knox. Do you fence, sir? Gold. Jacob Gold. I have some facility with the foils. What use is that here? Foils. Well, I think it's a daily ration of a pound and a half of bread. You know what guys, what's unbelievable about this place is we're actually standing on the actual ground. There's no changes whatsoever. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years old. 
Absolutely fantastic. That's their clothing up there. Or what they would have worn, how they would have dried it. This is your prisoner of war in prison. That's the food that they would be getting, some bread, some cheese, some peas, and every one of them would get a beer every single day, one beer. There you go, the bread, the meat, cheese, there's a beer, and that was like the pea stew if you want, and there's a wee guy waiting to get fed as well. Any leftovers? Well guys, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, it's been great here. This is a five hour, four and a half hour uh, trip. Definitely worth the money. So much history here, it's incredible. So many things to see. It really, really is fascinating inside that castle when you go underneath the grounds. Right, we'll leave it there. Uh, again, I apologise about my voice. That was because of that stupid football match. And then, um, if you would like to subscribe and uh, share my channel, please uh, hit the thumbs up below and comment if you've got something to say, guys. And, uh, well, from Edinburgh Castle, thanks again and goodbye.